This video will show you how to identify and correct your acronyms in Microsoft Word. Open in front of me is a, a paper in Microsoft Word and I'm going to show you how to identify your acronyms. Now the very first rule that you have to remember when it comes to acronyms is don't use any acronym or create an unnecessary acronym. It just causes anxiety on behalf of the reader and it just limits the flow. So for example, in this paper it's about cricket, specifically fast bowlers, and don't create an acronym for fast bowlers, which is FB, for example. Um, it's just unnecessary. But in this case we have a specific test, the Bourbon Trunk Muscle Strength Test, which is commonly known as the TMS. Now I want to know, I want to make sure, because you know you move text around and you, you modify things in your paper, and then your acronyms are also being messed up and down and around. So this test is written out in full the first time I'm using it with the acronym in brackets, the way it should be. But how do I know that this is the first time that I've used it? I mean, I can read through the entire paper every time for each and every acronym to find them and to, to, to solve them and make sure that I, I've written them out in full the first time I use them and the after I need to use the acronym only. But there's an easier way. So if you highlight this acronym and you go Control F, hold Control in and then click F, or you just use the, on the Home tab, you have the Find function. It does the same thing. So here I can see I've used TMS. The first time I've, I've written the acronym out in full, with TMS in brackets. And the second time I've used it in the paper, I have only used the acronym. Okay, so it seems perfectly fine. But I need to make sure that I haven't written it out in full in any other place. So I'm going to, you can highlight a portion of the words or the full words um, or the full term. And you go Control F again. You'll see I'm now using the find function and I'm double checking that this is the abstract, so I haven't used the acronym here. I can add the acronym there, although I haven't, I've only used this term once, and I've only written it out in the full paper once. So this acronym is sorted out. Let me quickly show you another one. Um, I've used the term analysis of variance. Um, let me find it. And here you can see, control F, or use the find function, and here you can see I have used the acronym here. I assume that this is the first time that I'm writing it out, but I can't be sure yet. Look, it's written out in full with the acronym in brackets, which is fine. And the after, I'm using the acronym. You can see here it's listed here. And I'm using the acronym again lower down in the paper. But I want to be sure that I haven't written it out somewhere else in the paper as well where I was supposed to use the acronym. So I highlight analysis of variance, click your control F and here you can see what's happening here. So here's the first time that I've I've used it. I've written out the full term with the acronym in brackets perfectly fine. But after that I was supposed to only use the acronym which I'm not. So you see here it picks up another instance where I've written it out in full and this was supposed to be changed to ANOVA. Okay, so this is a, a quick and easy function to just make sure that you do identify all your acronyms, double check that you've written them out in full the first time that you use them and then use the acronym thereafter. Hope it helps, go and change the world.